we go again. You guys have really, really been enjoying like the upload streak that I've been trying to keep on top of. So yeah, I, you know, my channel's been getting a couple of new subscribers every single day, which is amazing. Slowly making that push for the 1000 subscriber mark. And I was hoping to reach it before the end of 2016, but at this rate, we're going to reach it a lot sooner than that, which is amazing. And I can't thank you all enough. Without you guys, I wouldn't be anything. <laughs> and I'm still nothing. It's, it's, it's lemon lime G fuel and it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's so good. I don't have it in my shade cup because I can't find it and I really wanted a drink and I, this is all I had. So it, it's good though. It's really good. Even if it is like, it's like luminous green. It looks awesome. Well, I was going to go online, but I, I don't think, I, I, I don't know what's, what's going on right now. So yeah, I was actually having to think about what I could talk about. And then it hit me. I'm gonna talk about something that personally I find fucking hilarious. I've made videos and been around on Twitter for a couple of years now. And in that time, I have seen probably every insult you can make against me under the sun. If you can think of something new, then feel free to leave it in the comments and roast the fuck out of me because I find it hilarious. If I get enough, I might actually ask people to roast me just so I can make a video on it of me reading these out. But Kate, what type of insults do you mean? I don't mean just, you know, simple ones uh, like, oh, you're ugly because I already know that. Ones like that don't affect me anymore. They might have done when I was 12 and I might have gone a little bit upset, but even then I still didn't give a fuck back then. No, these insults are from the intelligent people who I have unfortunately had to come in contact with in my life. Now these intelligent human beings that I'm talking about are only, to be honest, they're probably only frustrated because their family hasn't discovered fire yet and they still live 200 years ago. But, and don't worry, I am not gonna go all liberal on your ass if that is the correct word to use there. I don't know words. This thing always goes out of focus. There we go. No, what I'm talking about is the comment, you only get views because you have a pair of these. I remember quite a few times, especially in the past, it doesn't happen that much anymore. When I say that much, I mean it's not happened for quite a while actually, which I am very grateful for because these comments are so fucking repetitive and so pathetic that that's all people have to say to try and insult me. I mean, it's not even an insult. I mean, there's tits and views. I mean, it's a win-win situation. Now, I have to stand up a little bit for myself because I have had plenty of people in the past. I just physically can't understand how someone's brain can be so small that they use that as their best insult against me. I mean, I'm not exactly a I'm going to cry if you call me ugly type person because frankly, I don't give a shit. A lot of people have said a lot of things to me in the past and uh, they've been pretty hurtful, so stuff like this really doesn't bother me. I'll be completely honest. I mean, to be honest, when people say this, I get a little bit confused because it isn't like I've got a full-on fucking cleavage sticking out in my webcam. Like a lot of people do do, and if you do that, I fucking hate you. Now, let me explain. I am well aware that some people do have chesticles that exceed a normal size. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes they do show a little bit. Everyone shows a little bit every now and again. But it's when people use that as their only way to get people to notice them. That is when I start to dislike people heavily. I have seen more than a handful of people Females. If, if a guy did it, I'd be you know, res respect to him. <laughs> Getting his tits out to get views. <laughs> I have seen more than a handful of female YouTubers slash streamers who have used this to their advantage. And frankly, it's fucking stupid. Now I'm not gonna sit here going, oh, it disgraces women. Yeah, I'm not. I, it does not bother me. I don't give a shit because boobs, titties, boobies. But when people have their webcam literally pointing down to this area, it kind of defeats the purpose of being entertaining. There's a difference between entertaining and giving someone a boner, or in my case, a lady boner, because, you know. I mean, if you want to see tits, then I can personally give you a long list of websites that you can go to instead and see stuff a lot better than what's on YouTube, trust me. So why people tend to go on YouTube and find this sort of thing 
one acceptable and two entertaining is beyond me. I just don't understand. I don't know if I'll ever understand, like, what goes through these people's heads. Like I said, I don't care. You do you, whatever. It's just when pe- it's all people do. I don't understand. I think I was watching a video the other day. I can't remember what it was. I think it was like top 10 most hated Twitch streamers or something. And like number three was this girl and I cannot remember what her name was. But fucking hell. Oh my god. No, it was top 10 uh, hated YouTubers actually. Um, no, I was not on that list. You know, surprisingly. Give it a couple of years when a few more people know who I am and I probably will be on there. I do have a very strong opinion on a lot of things. So if, if you can think of anything that you want my opinion on so I can shit on people, then by all means, let me know and I will ruin their life. But no, like I was saying, there was this girl on this top 10 list and literally she got banned on Twitch or something for twerking and wearing pretty much nothing. Uh, I mean, that's one way to get donations, but uh, you know, I'll just stick to being, try well, trying to be nice, trying to be funny, maybe, trying to be entertaining. I'm not gonna say trying to be good because I'm clearly dog shit at this game and every game ever. But come on, ladies, there is better things to do with your time. If you wanna do stuff like that, become a cam girl. There's an idea. I, I, I will help support you. If you become a can girl, I will be your number one fan. Because being a sexually frustrated teenager, I will take what I can get. If you want to go on a webcam and shake your money maker, then by all means go for it. But there's a place for that. And I don't think YouTube is one of them. As awesome as tits are, the, I don't know, it just kind of annoys me. I remember quite a while ago, I got really upset. Really upset because a lot of people were assuming I was doing that. Um, which wasn't true because frankly, I just, I don't know. I don't exactly have a Beyonce body. I can't go on camera and shake whatever ass I've got for money. It, I've tried it before, it doesn't work. <laughs> I didn't, I, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, don't worry. There's a lot of ways to get known on YouTube. There's a lot of ways to get views. There's a lot of ways to make money. But doing that is not one of them and my voice is starting to go. It's just how much little self-respect do you have to do that? I mean, I ain't got much self-respect. Have you seen my videos? <laughs> if you're new and you've never seen any of my other videos before, literally just click back to the last two and you'll see how little fucks I give at what people think about me. But I will never stoop low enough to do shit like that because frankly, I find it disgusting and irritating. It's like, come on, you you're setting our gender back like five years ago. Oh, I hit. I mean, <sighs> You do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. I really don't, but it's just annoying when people assume that I'm the same as the low lives who do that. And I'm not referring to any female YouTuber who does have self-respect. I'm referring to the people who literally wear nothing purposefully just to get money. They don't do it for entertainment reasons. Like, I mean, look at Sniper Wolf. I mean, Fucking hell, I, I don't think anyone minds her not wearing much clothes at all, including myself. She wears skimpy stuff all the time, fair enough, but she doesn't do it with intention of getting more views. Well, she might do. I don't know, but it definitely works. But she actually does the entertainment side as well. She, If she wanted to be like those other people who do shit like that, she would literally just make a 10 minute video of her ass, which yeah, again, I'm sure no one would object to, including myself, but you know, that's another story. But no, I'm sorry that this was a little bit ranty, but I, it just popped in my head before and I just wanted to talk about it because boobs. I, I enjoy talking about chesticles because who doesn't? I'm gonna make a video and I'm literally just gonna stick a pair of tits on my chest and see how many views it gets. <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> I wonder if anyone will actually count that as clickbait. I wanna call this video boobs and just see how many more views it gets. This is for scientific reasons for all you creeps out there. I know you want a cape porn, but it's not gonna happen as much as I kind of wish it will. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna leave it there before I say anything weird. I, I, I don't understand what the fuck it goes through my head sometimes. I really don't and I apologize. I need help. <laughs> Serious issues.